All right, in this video, I want to go over a resource that you can use called Choice. So there's a couple different ones. There's Record Choice Set, and there's also this one here called Choice. We are going to be going over this one. Um, as a friendly reminder, um, since I get a lot of these videos when we do these, um, this is actually just more geared for people that are trying to learn flow. They wanna understand how you can utilize these different resources, how you can utilize these different elements, um, I'm not interested in this video trying to get into very technical ideas, uh, not going through a technical type of use case. This is just going to be like a high level. Here's what this resource is. This is what you can utilize it for. These are some examples that I've seen in the past. Um, so I'm aware there's probably a plenty of different ways. There's probably even um, more realistic ways that you could use these things. Um, oftentimes, I just kind of throw something together to give you an idea of how it could work. Um, so keep that in mind. This is just more of like the fundamentals and just trying to create some resources out there so people aren't just looking at like Salesforce help documentation uh, that you can actually find a video and take a look at it. So jumping right into it, we have our choice, like I said. And on this choice, uh, you're going to fill out the regular information like you would always do. So you have your API name, right? You have your description and what you want that choice label to be. What I would point out here on your choice label, this is rich text as you're seeing, so you can kind of make a better like user experience for this. You could change the font if you wanted, you could change the font size, the color, bold it, italicize. Um, so you can kind of do some different things here. The one I'm going to focus on is a Boolean data type, and I just created a couple examples as you're seeing over here, yes and no. Uh, but there are different data types. So you can do text, which is like green, blue, red, number 100, 200, 300, uh, currency, date, a Boolean, which is a yes or a no, true or false. Um, and that's the one I've utilized. So depending on the choice you are creating, keep that in mind that there are a few different data types, but you do have to select the right data type in order for that choice to appear. I'm gonna talk about that in a second but that is like a common one that I'll run across. Um, and even myself, I, I would always mess up on that um, because you would create something and then it doesn't appear as a choice and you're kind of confused about it. So I'll show you that here in a second, uh, but do keep that in mind that there are a few different data types you can kind of choose from. All right, cool. So let's get out of here. Let's look at the choices I created. So I have a uh, no, like I said, it's a Boolean. And then I also have a yes as well. And what I mean by that is when I go into this screen, I've, I've thrown together a couple of these components uh, that you can utilize this in. Uh, there's a pick list, some radio buttons, some check boxes. Uh, these are some of the examples that you could use a choice set in. So if you have a pick list, typically in a pick list, you go to an object, you find the pick list that you want to that you want to use, and then you select that one so that you can pull in all those values and utilize it in your flow. You technically could though use it for something that's not on your object. You could create these choices, add it into a pick list, and then be able to route your user that way. Um, and what I mean by that is if I add a choice, right? And this one's already set, but see this data type up here? If this is set to text or number, well, I created these two choices, but they're Boolean. So if I have the wrong data type up here, that choice won't even appear. So just make sure that you have the right data type selected so that your choices do appear. Um, so radio is the exact same way. It allows you to select that choice. The only one that's different here is going to be our checkbox. And our checkbox um, is going to have uh, not a choice that you're selecting from, but it will have a default value. So on your default value, you know, if you want this to be your yes box, you could name it yes or check yes. Um, and then just set your default value, which is that choice, a Boolean, as yes. And then that way, if they select it, you know that it's a yes. If they select it, it's a no. You know, regardless of however you want to structure that, that's just an idea there for you. So that's kind of how it is. And for the very uh, few moments that we have left here in this video, I just want to show you what that looks like as the user. So they can now come in here. I have a pick list. That's a yes or a no. They can select these different radio buttons or they can check or uncheck these boxes now that all have these choices. So those are some basic ways that you could utilize choice within a flow.